Hello, I'm back with a new card showcasing a brand new set designed by Isabel Christina Stamps and called Beauty Princess. This set couldn't come at a better time because it can help me continue my tale series. I think you have recognized Aurora aka Sleeping Beauty and her fairy godmothers and I was inspired by the end of the Disney movie when the clouds change colors from blue to pink and pink to blue. First, I played with tumble glass and sponge sugar distressings on a piece of Bristol cardstock. I applied a lot of clear water on the paper and then put colors here and there. I didn't want the colors to mix and become violet so I used my heat tool between each layer. Three layers of pink and blue were applied and next I simply splattered water on top of the panel and used paper towel to dry it. To complete the background and accentuate the light and floaty side of the clouds, I splattered a lot of teeny tiny drops of unicorn white paint. Next, I used the Reveal Wheel die set from Lanform and first started by die cutting the main panel from my pink and blue background. I also die cut the small circle, the wheel, and a second panel all from white cardstock. I placed the wheel behind the pink and blue panel, marked the center, and next I pierced a hole at the back of the panel, right on the pencil mark. And then I placed a circle die in such a way that the hole was in the middle of the die, and I run it through my die cutting machine. I took a brad from my stash and put it through the back of the small circle, the back of the wheel, and the back of the pink and blue circle. I attached foam adhesive squares on the small circle, placed the wheel element at the back of the main panel, and pressed onto the white panel to stick it down. Next, I put a million foam adhesive squares around the wheel, making sure not to touch it. Secured the pink and blue circle using liquid glue. And then I removed all the backs and attached the main panel. I die cut a cloud border from white cardstock and attached it at the bottom of the panel. Next, I attach the wheel panel to a white card base. And then I use the chimney die from the Mushroom House die set to create an arrow that I glued on the left side.
I use the pictures on my phone to help me color the fairies and the princess. The digital stamps were printed on Nina Solar white cardstock using my Epson printer.
When all the images were colored, I die cut some clouds and attached everything using foam adhesive squares. I also removed the cloud border to be able to stamp and go ahead and boost my sentiment. Next, I added some morning dew drops here and there. And also some clear shimmer on the clouds and wings. And this is the final result. I hope you like this card. Feel welcome to tell me in the comments which tail you would like me to try to recreate. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!